and third is the IUPAC nomenclature. Now, this trivial name it is called as the nickname or the common name. It is present on the basis or it is present on the type or the area which give uh, used to give them the name. For example, this CH3OH, its trivial name is methyl alcohol because this CH3 group it is called as methyl and OH represents alcohol. Now, its derived name is carbinol and its IUPAC name will become methanol because this CH3 is meth and OH represents all methanol. Now, that is all about the alcohols. For more details, log on to www.gurukpo.com. Hello friends, I am Rukma Singh, working as an assistant professor at Biani group of colleges welcomes you all on behalf of GuruKPO.com. Today, I am going to deliver my lecture on alcohols. Now, this is a common term used in the society, but today I will discuss about its classification, about its general formula. Alcohols, the general formula is ROH, here R stands for alkyl group. These are, these are the compounds and these are considered to be derived from the alkyl derivatives of water or hydroxy derivatives of hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbons means hydrogen and carbon. Now, here it is HOH. If you remove this hydrogen, now it will become the alkyl derivative of water. Same here, here we will remove this R group and here again we will remove this H group. So, these are considered to be the derivatives as these are obtained from some other compounds. Now, the classification. We can classify them on, the, on two bases. It depends upon the number of hydroxyl group and also upon the nature of the carbon atoms to which they are attached. First of all, I am taking, uh, taking the number of hydroxyl groups. I am taking this basis. Now, here we consider, consider them as mono, mono, di or polyhydric compounds. Now, I have taken this example CH3OH. This is called as monohydric alcohol. Now, why it is called as monohydric alcohol? Because only single OH group is present here. Now, if there are two groups attached to this methyl group or ethyl group, then this will be called as dihydric. And if more than three groups are present, more than three hydroxyl groups are present, then it will be called as polyhydric alcohol. Now, this classification is based upon the nature of carbon atoms to which they are attached. On their basis, we call them as primary, secondary or tertiary alcohol. Now, here I have taken this example ROH. Here only single alkyl group is present, that is why it is called as primary alcohol. Now, instead of this, if there are two alkyl groups will be pre present to this OH, then it will be called as secondary alcohol. And if more than two or three, alco three alkyl groups will be present, then it will be called as tertiary alcohol. Now, how to write their name? That is the way we call as nomenclature. Nomen now, to do the nomenclature, there are three ways. First is trivial, second is derived.